Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby and welcome to our summer vlog. I'm here and with Peppy Pepper, the camera girl, and we are near Dover on the southeast coast of England, as you can see. The white cliffs, it's rather fantastic. The weather's been absolutely beautiful the last few days, but today it's a little cloudy. So maybe the, the video won't come out as well as I, I should hope it to. But hopefully we can give you our guys an idea of what we've been up to and hopefully show you some of the absolute beauty that is the south coast of England. Go on, let me put you on the camera. No, no, no. no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll you you want to come here? Yeah. Okay, so have I you been having... Have fun. you been having fun so far? Yes. Yes. We're going to have more fun. You ask me silly questions. Yeah? I've been fun so far. Oh, no, don't. 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 So Peppy's given me the camera now. That was the view. And... Quickie baby is about three steps from death. So yeah, you're probably hoping, go on, do it, jump you bastard. But not today. Peppy's gonna push me off the cliffs, please don't do that. I kind of like to live. I'm having a lot of fun, so. Herp. So, herp, herp, more to come. So now it is sweaty palm time because we are at one of the highest points of the cliff. Da, 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 da. This is just amazingly beautiful. Definitely makes me feel a little funny being up here. I'm fine. You're fine, are you? Yes. You're braver than I am. <laughs> You're very good at avoiding the camera, though. And that is the port of Dover over there. More to come. So we're just having lunch and Peppy just dropped icing sugar. And yeah and behold, Das ants are absolutely feasting on it. They're like, oh, this is the most tasty thing I've ever had. Oh my God. Quickly get Phil. Phil would love this. Oh my God, nom nom nom. Look, where's the other piece that they're like carrying away? Where's it gone? Here. Oh yeah, look. Which one, where are they? Oh, there they are. Look at these little buggers. Oh, I can't zoom in that far. Look at these. They tried to take me as well. They tried to run away. They tried to take Peppy back to the nest, and she was like, what? Mm. No. But yeah, we're in an absolutely beautiful location. And we're about to reveal one of the most asked questions of how did the Peppy Pepper meet the Quickie Baby? Blinkity blinkity blink. So hey guys, um, we're up still on the cliffs of Dover. And as we promised, we're going to answer one of the main questions that we get asked, which is, what question's that? How did we meet? How did we meet? Okay. So, do you want to start? Okay, I'll start. It's a long story. Last year wasn't a very lucky year for me. And I uh, had lots of bad days, unfortunately. And one of these days, I got back home from the university and um, I decided to watch some streams because I felt very sad and I wanted to calm down and just relax, listen to people, nothing special. You watched a lot of streams? I watched lots of streams, yeah. And um, finally, I, I found a man, very, very good looking man. <laughs> yeah, right. Who, who played this strange game and I didn't even understand what, what was going on. But anyway, his English just got me. Oh, I, yes, that English. That English. <coughs> I always wanted to speak this 
in this level of English and you can see so. Okay. And uh, yeah, I started to listen to him and uh, I wasn't really interested in this game at all. But I watched his stream for a very long time, for two weeks I think, before I write him. Before I wrote him for the first time on Facebook. I don't know why way I did it. I just wanted to make him a compliment about his voice and his English. And why I decided to use very very interesting words because <laughs> my English is not very good and for that period of time it was just awful and I used very very old um, very old vocabulary English vocabulary and uh, yeah. Yeah, I could I, tell I, like um, there was a word in that first message that you sent me that I didn't even know what it was anodyne and I was yeah, like yeah. Oh, okay and so since then, it's become a good word. It's cute. So at first I thought it was someone trying to troll me. I thought, oh yeah, they're just trying to get my IP so they can mm. troll me. And so I was like, all like, oh yeah, hi, thanks very much for your kind words, so on and so forth. And we just got, yeah. got talking really, didn't we? Yeah. Well, to be honest, I, I couldn't expect that he answered me. Oh yeah. It was... It was so suddenly and I, yeah, I wasn't really ready to get an answer from him. So it was very exciting, very exciting. That's it? Yeah, yeah that's it. We started to write each other and uh, know and learn something new about each other. And about each other's cultures, which is really interesting, wasn't it? For me, mm -hmm. it was very, very interesting to find out all about Belarus and your background and your very interesting life. And we started to speak in Skype. It was the most exciting thing in my life because I didn't have any experience talking with foreigners in English. How was it? Your English was amazing. English is really good, it's just a confidence thing, because your English is amazing, so... Yeah, it's always says that. It's true. <laughs> Everyone says it. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. So... We talked about meeting up. And we were lucky enough that it happened. Yeah, after two months of just... Um, learning things about each other in internet we decided to meet each other it's quite crazy <laughs> and then after that i went to minsk mm -hmm. for two weeks it was very crazy as well it was you guys have seen the vlog for that so you'll know and if you haven't why well, haven't you already go and check it out now cookie baby's guide to belarus which was one of the best holidays I've ever had, so wonderful. And that leads us... Risky man. Huh? Risky man. Risky man, yeah. yeah. Could have ended up in a basement. Apparently only something like 4,000 British people go to Belarus every year. So that's like 10 a day. And when you think, well, just over 10, 12 a day. So that's always a fact that I feel very privileged to be to such a country. And to have met you and your family, who were nice as well, had a lovely time. And then that leads us to here, doesn't it? Yeah, no. Chilling on the cliffs of Dover, just had lunch. Mm -hmm. Just Could... fed some of the ants. Some of the ants, yeah. Things couldn't be much better. Exactly. So I guess there's going to be lots of questions stemming from this. I guess we'll just have to answer those when it happens, eh? Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens next. But do not try to write to Quickie Baby on Facebook and try to ah. know him better. Ah, okay. Yeah. Doesn't work, does it? Yeah.
doesn't, doesn't work. work anymore. It doesn't work anymore. It's a one-time mm -hmm. only thing. Yeah. yeah, I agree. So guys, I hope you've liked the, uh, the answer. This is something we get asked all the time. And here you go, you're the first people to know. What do you think about it? What do you think? <laughs> do you think it's crazy? Do you think we're like really lucky? We are really lucky. We are really lucky. I think Especially we're really me. lucky. Especially me. I'm very lucky. <laughs> we're both that very you lucky. you answered me. Oh, I'm very lucky that someone as wonderful as you messaged me. But anyway, let's not make them all sick. Blah. They're like, blah. Blah. By the way, I tried uh, during these two weeks, I tried to understand what is this ring on you. And your left hand, because I want—I really thought that he is married already. He was. This, it's like, um, it was a—it was a ring that my uh, one of my great grandfathers had, and the thing is, is that my father still wears the original, and so they had this one made for me, which is like a, a mold of it. And so, I started to worry. Oh my God, he's not married. I should definitely write him. <laughs> Ah, I'm getting eaten by ants. <laughs> Get off me. Okay. Yeah, so I guess. I'm just amazingly blessed through the streaming. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I found you through it. And I found my awesome community through it. Hopefully, before the end of this year, I can make it a full-time occupation kind of thing. So yeah, it's all rather exciting, guys. Just. Thank you so much. I, I, owe, I owe meeting you to them. Because if they hadn't been backing me up, then I wouldn't have met you. Mm. Uh, well, when I started to watch you, there were maybe maximum 100 people. 100 people. It watched you. So you're one of the first. You're one of the, the hipsters. The indie mm. people. Hipster Peppy. Lots of secrets. Lots of secrets? Don't go telling them all the secrets. No. 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 Cool. Okay guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this. We'll watch it back together later. No, I want to watch it back. Please. Let's see what's happening to the fondant fancy. It's like Ant Mageddon. He's hungry, he's really hungry, V. Nom 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 derp a derp Oh no, he's died! Oh my word, look at that. Okay, so this is Peppy with sweaty palm time. Do 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 How cool is that? You're fine? Yeah. You're fine just chilling there? Yeah. Right on that edge? You're fine? Yeah. Totally chilling? Chillaxing? Yeah. Anything you want to say to them? Uh, thank you again that, that these guys make our meeting and our holidays possible. That's a pretty good answer. Okay. Yeah, this is the new house that we've just bought. No, with... you don't have to do it. Don't worry, it's fine. So I say, old chaps, many of you have asked me how I like to spend my YouTube money. Well, as you can see here, this is my new house that I just bought the down payments for. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, thank you all so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Gardens. So, hey guys, we're on the beach at Botany Bay. We have had a pretty lovely day here today. You can see, again, basically this is on the other side, whereas when we're on the, the White Cliffs of Dover that you would have seen earlier or later in the video, I'm not sure where I'm going to put this in yet, um, we're on the south side of the coast. Now we're on the, the east, the northern east of the south of England coast, so if you like, imagine there's the blob which is Kent, and we're on the uh, top bit there now. And 
this place is, is lovely. If you like this place, Peppy. Yeah, very much. Yeah. Um, it's definitely one of my uh, favourite beaches. And the cliffs are fantastic, and we've just messing around finding starfish and stuff over there in the pools and whatnot. And yeah. then, so you just suddenly disappeared when we woke up? Yeah, we got here when it was high tide, and now it's low tide, but we went swimming, um, which was fun. Yeah. So, oh. Such a lovely day, unbelievably lovely day. And we've just seen some crazy lady on the beach that was feeding her her dog whipped cream. <laughs> Not kidding you. This fat dog. This completely fat dog was just chilling, like running around finding food from everybody. And then she was like all crazy. She was in like a wedding dress on the beach. I'm like kidding you. <laughs> She's over there. Zoom in on her. Zoom in. She's right there. Zoom in on the crazy lady with the dog. Can we just okay. zoom all the way in? Let's let's spy on her. Okay. Hold on, where is she? You found her? Where is she? Um, oh, yeah. yeah, you found her? This crazy lady. There you go. Zoom in on her. She's wearing like half a wedding dress and then tracksuit bottoms. She'll probably find this video and like sue me or something. Oh my god, there's a naked child. Don't zoom in that far. Don't zoom in that far. Don't zoom in that far. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, but basically, we were just joking about half the fun that we've been having on the beach is like putting stories behind everyone, and she's the crazy, she's she's the jilted bride, who, <laughs> and she was given her puppy as like a, as like a wedding day present, but her groom never came. And then ever since the she just like marauds the beach with this fat dog, she just teaches it tricks using whipped cream that she produces from the back. And stuff. But no, really, we've had um, a really awesome day today. And I have no work to say, to be honest. Just say what you're feeling this moment. I'm feeling... Your favourite beach? I think that this might be my favourite beach. So you really like this beach and you'd like to come back here, basically? Of course. Of course. Who wouldn't? These cliffs are just unbelievable. The beach is perfect, the water's not too bad on a hot day like this. Absolutely idyllic. I totally recommend this place if you're ever in the southeast of England. Today guys, just driving to the cinema. We're gonna go see Power Rangers 2, whatever it's called. Oh wait, I mean, I mean Pacific Rim. <laughs> so, I have no idea what it's gonna be like. We just wanted to go and check out something that was a little bit funky. And it's, I mean, it's directed by Guillermo del Toro, so it's gonna, at least it's gonna look badass. At least it's gonna look badass. I mean, that guy did Pan's Labyrinth, um, Hellboy, and what's that other film I did? Oh yeah, The Hobbit. So, um, yes, some pretty big credentials. It should be fairly good. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to. Are you looking forward to it, Peppy? Yes. I nearly just took out that learner on my left, trying to pull in. I want, to, I, want, I want to look that back on that video and see what my face looks like with pure terror and learner about to side scrape my car. Yes. I nearly just took out that learner on my left. So yeah, I'm sure that in the comments below there are going to be loads of things like, Oh, Mr. Quickie Baby drives a car. Oh, Mr. Quickie Baby, why don't you drive a tank? Well, <laughs> I would love to drive a tank. Just gonna be rolling into into the town, the cinema, with the um, with the old uh, tank. Be pretty cool to have a common. Just roll over cars in front of you. Would be pretty cool. Or we'll just at least push them out of the way because it wouldn't do it like in the movies. I don't think and just crush the cars. So be pretty cool. But anyway, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a review after the cinema. So you see what the film is like, and um, yeah, it's, you've got to see me drive. So, oh. so see you guys without in a second. Headphones. Hey, without headphones. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God, he has ears! <laughs> Quickly, kill it, kill it! It's not Quickie, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so we just finished watching Power Rangers two. And... No, we finished it yesterday because you changed the clothes. Huh? You changed your clothes uh, in the cinema. Damn it. Don't say that, Peppy. You can't tell them. 
Okay, guys, so we forgot to um, do the post review. So I have changed my clothes. You'll be thinking, like, what? Trying to trick us, but no. Um, yeah, we forgot to do the review coming home because the countryside was so beautiful. So we're doing the Power Rangers 2 review now. Okay, here we go. So it was very cheesy. It was very silly. But it was oh, such a guilty pleasure. I don't know, I felt like I was watching some kind of anime mixed with some cheesy, like, action film. Um, I really thought that the highlights... I think, Peppy, you agree that the highlight for you and me was kind of that Ron Perlman's character was just hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, and if you go watch it in the cinema, make sure you stay through the credits because there's a little bonus clip towards the end you got to see. I thought that the guy who played the the overseer, the commander guy who was in charge of the whole of the operation was just very dry and all of the plot was just so predictable and they made all of the characters so ridiculous like those Russians. Especially the Russians. The Russians, they made the Russians look so, so serious. I mean, it's really brutal. Brutal, oh yeah, brutal. They made them look brutal. Mm -hmm. And um, they had them saying kind of a uh, real Russian, didn't they? Mm -hmm. So, Peppy, you thought it was cool that they uh, had real Russian actors. Yeah. Or at least Russian actors that could speak Russian. So, so yeah. They didn't subtitle most of the Russian in it. So. It's quite cool. But yeah, anyway, would I recommend you to go and see it? Only if you're willing to just go and kind of like go, Ugh! like that. You've got to just go and not give a crap and just have some fun and want to go and see Power Rangers too. Maybe there was already a second Power Rangers film. I should check this up on the internet. I've got to get my facts straight before I, before I make comments. I thought like it's, it's still a good film for the lols. I give it kind of like a 7 out of 10 just for the lols. Um, I might be a bit biased because it was a Guillermo del Toro film, but maybe, maybe. I thought the art direction at least was nice, and it did look beautiful. Yeah. It was the first 3D film that I saw, which I didn't notice the crappy 3D effects for most of it. I think, I don't know about you guys, but most 3D films that I see, I'm kind of like looking and thinking, that's done badly, that's done badly with the 3D. I'm just thinking, oh, that's just in it for the sake of it. Yep, knife coming out at you. Okay, yes, you want to do that just for the 3D effect, don't you? So, at least in this one, they kind of, like, use the 3D as, uh, as an extra layer. I'm not sure if they specifically shot the scenes just for the 3D, but maybe that was me being completely subjective in my viewpoint. But, yeah, I thought it was... It's a good film. It's worth a worth a view. Peppy, do you think it's much better in 3D, or would you rent it on DVD or Blu-ray or something? Mm. I felt a little bit sick during this film <laughs> because of this 3D effects. Yeah. So yeah, you're trying to you try and just go for it on Blu-ray or DVD then? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Depends but how. I'd, yeah. I'd give this film maybe five <gasps> points only because of this crappy music all the time, it's horrible <laughs> music, all, during all film. Do you remember the tune? What was the tune? No. No. <laughs> was it so like... Oh no, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, but it I have was to something be... horrible. I wish you hadn't said, because I'm gonna if I'm gonna rewatch it when it comes out on DVD, then like all I'll be able to think about is that tune. So afterwards we went and we had a, a nice nice dinner, which was cool. I had some pasta and Peppy tried some seafood. Pasta yeah. for the first time, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, this kind of pasta with real seafood. Yeah, that was good. Very special evening. No, oh, it's very special. That's why we didn't want to get the camera going. So we're doing fake vlog. Ah, oh, we're just coming back from the cinemas. How are you all doing? Yes. But yeah. So that was cool. We'll be going to the beach again soon, which should be lots of fun. Yeah. 
or not? We're not going to the airport now. We're not going to the airport now. We're not doing like this vlog because we totally forgot to do it while we're driving to the airport while we're stuck in traffic. I don't know, let's get the camera out. Let's do the vlog now. <laughs> the last possible moment. But I don't know, maybe this will be a, a good time for um, just to say that I've had an amazing summer. Thank you very much, Miss Pepperdy. Yeah, thank you. And um, just a big thank you to all you guys who make this possible as well. Thank you for staying with us. Um, I hope you like seeing Peppy play tanks. Oh, Jesus. Where's it going? Oh, it's driving down the hard shoulder. Okay, that's okay. Not sure if you could hear that emergency vehicle. I hope you guys enjoyed Peppy playing tanks. Is that something that you want to see more of or not? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. No, I mean, yeah, I should just download this game on my new laptop and play it with you again. Yeah, we can play it again. I'd like to do that. We'll get you through tier four. The horrors of tier four and get you up to tier five and then have some fun should be good gps signal lost gps signal lost qqq so maybe if this traffic keeps up and this accident doesn't clear peppy will become an illegal immigrant and just stay in the uk and never come back no but i don't know that wouldn't be too good for our future so <laughs> kind of good that you don't become an illegal immigrant. So hopefully this traffic clears up when we get you to the airport. But yeah, I just had a, a wonderful summer. Thank you so much, Miss Pepperdy. And big thank you to you guys who make it all possible. Everyone who supports us, keeps watching our content, no matter how boring it is at times. Maybe you like to be bored. Maybe that's why you watch us. <laughs> Some highlights for me were that Peppy got to meet my brother. You liked him, right? Yeah. She's nodding. You wouldn't say no. No, I hate him. He's gonna watch this. No, I hate him. He's horrible. No, we had a really... He's a very wonderful person. Yeah. It's really nice to spend time around Z. And his wife's really nice. So it's all good. So I just want to show you some of the lovely pictures that we were able to take on our travels. I had the most amazing time. I haven't edited it as heavily because I really wanted to just be open and honest with you guys and just show you really what the, the feeling was of this summer, which was very chilled out. Just thank you so much for staying with us, guys, and hopefully I'll see you soon.